All right, hello everybody and welcome to H1Z1 for noobs number three. You guys have waited a long time for me to make this video, but today in this video, what I wanted to show you guys was this, um, uh, I'm not showing you my inventory, I'm just changing my shit. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys was, um, just, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. You guys constantly ask me on the daily questions, stuff, like questions I want to answer, but want to make a video about it so that you guys don't have to keep asking me more and more every day. I could, you guys could just go find the answer in one of my videos. So I'm just going to make that video today so a lot of people ask me every time I start streaming exactly what my settings are and what my res is and if people should use my res now in my personal opinion everybody's build is different everyone has a different computer you should go with the settings that you think are right you should go with with what you like but if your computer is good enough nothing needs to be high except for these two model quality and texture quality are the only two important um, qualities that you need to have on high so I have everything set on low except for those two I play on 1500 render distance which by the way if you use the two little uh, keys next to P uh, the brackets that turn left one turns down your render distance right one turns it up thought I should let you guys know that because people ask me that too 100% so render quality is definitely really really useful if you're not playing on 100% render quality then it, your game's gonna just look like booty cheeks so um, yeah I play with zero brightness 68 field of view is right for me I can see perfectly inside of cars when I'm trailing them and everything like that i don't play with v-sync i personally think that v-sync slows down and like delays the mouse but i don't, I don't know if that's just me but um people have watched me play 1920 by 1080 and i haven't been doing good on 1920 by 1080 so i switched to this res and it's probably my favorite res right now six down by 1024 it's stretch so you will have the black bars like last time when i was playing stretch but um it's definitely working out for me right now you don't have to play the same res as me it doesn't really matter that much but here we'll come to the crosshair so the crosshair uh a lot of people use the dot the dot's very good crosshair it's um very handy and useful for shooting through cars shooting heads and shooting like pre-firing stuff but my personal favorite is the number six which is what most of the big players use like i don't know Stormin and uh stay lifted and summit well summit i don't know he really uses uh, any crosshair but the way the crosshair is a very great crosshair and it's very good because all you have to do is put their head right in that gap especially on stretch since their heads are stretched uh putting their head in that gap is not frankly hard to do i just play on white some people play on like teal blue or like purple like i know stay lifted is like this something like that like bright purple or something but uh yeah i'm a big fan of white just pitch white um my mouse sensitivity is three percent with 1200 dpi scoped is 13 percent because i don't really get the sniper that much so i don't really fuck with that one uh vehicle is 40 just so i can do a full 360 without having to move my mouse very much and aiming is two so it's slower than the mouse sensitivity and it's really really just efficient for if someone's running you're not going to aim too much like you're not going to over aim you're not going to like trailing and shit and when they're peeking trees when you're pre-firing and pre-peeking both sides of the tree you don't want to over peek like let's say they are right here and they're right here you but there's something right there so you can't shoot their feet they're going to peek the left side and your cross is right here you want to be able to just flick over like that keep on moving your mouse over and flicking it but if you have it too much and you overshot it and you're like oh god then yeah so um there's that uh oops sorry so i have reduce input lag on and use raw mouse input off i don't know a lot of people like to have this on and this off but it's really your guys's preference of what feels better uh, i have the center inventory on because i like to keep the inventory in the middle like the old days and yeah that's pretty much all for that so as i always play on na i will not play eu servers like south america asia australia i don't play those i only play na so for all of you that want to know my region that's where i play and so a lot of you ask me about skins on the daily and again i'm going to promote myself skins-bets.com is where i've gotten every single one of my skins i'm sponsored by the site i have an affiliate code and all you have to do is use code rip logan one word for you know a free balance and you can gamble that balance to get whatever you want and it's pretty much stacked up my whole inventory from me gambling and getting like affiliates and stuff it's a very 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 good site well, easily one of my favorite sites on the internet it's just super addicting and it's it's super like <coughs> it's just super easy roulette's so easy for me and my friends what we like to do is training is normally a um, you just bought the game you want to go in and play so you go in and you play 
and you warm up or you try to learn the game or whatever but me and my friends use training as a mechanism for warming up a lot or just having fun because everybody that's in there is Chinese and they're teaming so every time you join a training there will most likely be like a team of like seven or eight in one of the cities or in at the airstrip or something so if you ever just want to practice your shot training would definitely be a good solution for that you could just join training uh you spawn in pleasant valley you find an ar and you try to kill teams of like seven or eight people just they're really bad trust me they're really all right, so here we are in the game. I'm going to talk about this again, about the bounty, because a lot of people were not really understanding what I meant. So you play enough games and you win or you lose, you'll get free bronze at some point. Your bronze charges up and then you'll get free bronze. If you bet the free bronze right here and you win, you'll get a thousand skulls, which then you can again use the skulls to bet for more skulls do not bet the daybreak cash because if you bet daybreak cash if you win which i've tested you will only get skulls i thought it would give you like ten dollars in daybreak cash but that's not how it works all right so something a lot of people wanted to know from watching me play um was parachuting they thought what's like the best way to parachute down what's the best way to be good so i turn my render distance up i see where i want to go and i look straight down at the floor you go as far down as your mouse will let you go and you just fly straight down i mean it's as simple as that but people like to overcomplicate it um there's this thing called stretching or strafing where you press a and you move your mouse with it where so you can fly farther faster like this but uh that's something you guys really won't frequently need to use on this map it was really a z1 strat because that map was way bigger or not bigger but like the there wasn't so many spots to loot and stuff it's always nice to land next to the car too not on top of it because if you land on top of the car you'll either most likely fly away you'll most likely fly away or you will just not get the car first someone else will get it first so i'd hardly recommend you guys um going for the car and landing next to it instead of on it so now i actually want to show you guys a trick that i've been using a little bit to my advantage um your crosshair will lock if you spam it, which is really weird, and you guys can go test this out by yourself if you'd like. So let's say I'm locking it on this tree. If I don't press A or, or A or D, it'll stay locked on this certain spot of the tree. So let's say someone's on the tree, right, and they're behind it. You always want to keep crouching so that they can't shoot your head until you fight. Um, and then you can lock, and then if you move it, it like, it like stutters. So I just go like this. And then they peek and very very useful strat um to use when you're just trying to fight people around corners or around trees so now here's something a lot of people uh ask me about when it comes to shooting is trailing cars and uh bullet spray like spraying how close you need to be to spray or like how you should shoot the gun apparently a lot of people have trouble listening um when you see like pros and stuff shooting so i've really picked up this bullet uh pattern from watching people like stormin and giddy and all them there's a six step pattern which is how i hear it there's a six step pattern this is going to be really cringy to you guys because i'm going to be saying it but there's a six step pattern to the ar which i feel where it stays 100 percent accurate even though the crosshair doesn't look like it's still accurate so here i'm going to show you so let's say there's someone pretty pretty good distance where i can't spray and be completely accurate like at this tree so uh if i wanted to shoot just listen to the pattern it's one two three four five six one two three four five six so your crosshair will bounce left and right and it won't look like it's accurate but it's actually 100 percent accurate so like let's go even farther away let me go one two three four five six one two three four five six and it doesn't look like it's going to stay straight. I don't know if it's going to show. No, it's not going to show. But the bullets were 100% accurate. And maybe one or two missed. But I haven't completely mastered it yet. It takes a little bit. But I just keep I keep that sound in my head constantly when I play this game. I keep the, the, the six-step uh, pattern in my head every time I'm taking a fight. Or every time I try to kill somebody. Another tip some people wanted to know was uh, drifting in cars. Uh, people were talking about drifting in cars and about how they didn't know how to do it and how to do it like uh like how stormman does it and it's pretty plain and simple um the if you press space bar it does a handbrake which uh completely stops the car and makes you do this nasty noise if you hold space bar while you're turning it actually makes you do a drift so if you hold space bar while you're while you're turning really fast and driving to the left if you're on if you're driving you always want to turn it to the left unless you're doing a full 360 like this 
So if you're ever pulling up on someone and they have cover, you don't want to... So let's say there's someone behind this rock over here. Right right there. I can't really point at it because I have no crosshair. Right there. Okay? Let's say there's someone right there. And you want to hop out on them, but you don't know where to. So instead of hopping out like this and trying to shoot, you want to give yourself cover. And you skirt your car to the left and you go like this and you... You always want to crouch first because they're going to be pre-aiming where you're going to hop out. Most good players at least. And they're going to be trying to shoot through this window to try to two-tap you before you can hop out. So you always, as soon as you get out of your car, as soon as you, you drift out of your car, you stop and you get behind it and you, so you, you go. You turn it. If I could turn it. You go, you turn it. And then you crouch. Now you can pre-aim over the car and then... So now my biggest um, opinion about this game is when you are playing it, try not to let your is when you are playing it, try not to let yourself get too into it. Try not to let yourself get so mad over the smallest things. I know a lot of the big streamers like Ninja and stuff, they get really mad when they die. But they have a reason to get mad because they are like really good at the game. They're actually like they're supposed to be real T1 and he's trying to keep his number one world rank. But us, people like us we don't have anything to be frustrated about like we should just be playing the game because we enjoy the game so the reason i play this game um and when i die i mean don't take it to heart because the odds of you winning every game are like one percent like 0 0.000001 percent so my motto for this game has just been you can't win them all and it's true you can't win them all you you barely win if you play 100 matches i doubt you'll even win 10 of them it's like i can't even do that so if you wonder why the people like Ninja are so good at this game, they have 3-4k hours on it. He's played 700 games almost already this season. It's just, it's ridiculous how many games they've played and just how long they play. So, if you guys want to be like them, you're going to have to play as much. So, whenever you get mad, if you feel like getting off, don't get off. Don't, don't give up. Just keep enlightening yourself with something play some music play slither after your game's over play you know anything talk to someone make sure like have someone in your discord play around have some memes you know just keep yourself enlightened keep yourself enjoying the game which even i can't say because it's really hard for me to do sometimes and i don't even listen to my own advice but it's very 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 good to always just let it fly right through you someone's lagging and you know it's a game bug and it's just really irritating because i can i can tell you i know how irritating game bugs are just brush it off your shoulder and say, all right, I'll queue up for another one. Now, I may not be the best at the game, and I may not have a lot of hours, but I think it's nice to know that I have a, a fan base that supports me making these videos for you guys and that wants me to keep giving you guys tips and help. Like, if you guys know who Eric Triceps is, he's one of the best players on EU. Um, he actually commented on my first video telling me that I didn't have enough hours to give you guys tips and I think that that was completely arrogant and that is not true because just because I don't have 3k hours doesn't mean I'm not good at the game like I have 1.7k hours and I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff I said in that video helped a lot of people so I just if anybody watches this that's big and I'm not giving good advice message me or something and tell me the advice I should give because if I'm not doing it well enough I want to do it better like I don't see anybody else making constant tips and tricks videos trying to help other people out like the Christmas noobs all them I like I, I just want to be able to help other people be good at the game and I don't see a lot of tips and tricks videos being made about stuff like this so if any of you guys watch this and you guys I got something wrong I'm not doing something right I said something completely incorrect message me and I'll make a new video correcting it and giving you guys credit for telling me that I said it wrong so also to retract uh, on my first video, a lot of people were mad because I said nades aren't good. Um, I want to take back that statement now because they have done a lot of nade patches and nade fixes and there are still a lot of bugs with nades for them not throwing or not leaving your hand when you throw them or like an ADS bug where right after you throw it, your aim down sights is the same as your normal sights so it makes you aim in really weird. But um, I take that back and I'd say if you find nades, pick up every nade you can because gas grenades, smoke grenades, normal nades, mollies, they're all definitely worth picking up and they can easily, easily win you the game if you use them. Another thing to know, when you guys are getting low top 10, you're going to get nervous. It's something that happens to everyone. Everybody gets nervous that they're about to win and it's very normal. Uh, I say don't let it get to your head.
another thing is uh, try to do that. <laughs> Outplaying people is something that you really need to get used to in this game because a lot of people will just be really good and you need to be able to have smart fast reactions when it comes to fights. So like me constantly crouching over the car and stuff it was really smart of me to not move and not let him get the advantage on me which is something that I've had to practice like the entire time I've been playing H1Z1 and it's been very difficult to master just not getting so nervous to the point where I choke up and lose the fight but that's definitely something that I have worked on and have I think that I've improved on greatly always keep moving too if you're ever in a gunfight or you're shooting someone's car or something uh, always keep moving when you're aiming it's always nice to instead of aiming like this and shooting you always want to be moving so that they have to trail you because a lot of people aren't good at trailing while they're slow walking like that a lot of people aren't good at getting the headshot while they do that so it's really great if you're gonna peek you can either quick peek and you can go or you can you can walk it's always good to keep your feet moving trailing in cars isn't that big of a thing it's not very it's not really that hard but that's from my perspective um you just always want to aim for the window no matter where they are you always want to aim for the window and you just the farther they go the more you want to aim out you see the farther they drive away the more farther you want to aim out or up or whichever way they're going like this are the ones that are hard to fight the AK sprayers that don't know how to use any other gun that's when shotguns can never ever go wrong if you guys want the personal opinion from me the way to get better at the game is not to practice your aim and stuff it's to keep on taking fights and learning the game until and keep losing the fights until you start winning them you know like just keep keep playing and dying and spawning in and replaying until you start fighting people off spawn and winning and getting used to being the first one with the gun trying to be as fast as you can killing people you feel Like I said, nades will work, and they are very good when they do work. So if you guys do pick those up, uh, they could definitely help you win the game a lot easier. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Uh, this is all for you guys. I mean, you guys have gained me 2,000 almost subscribers since the first one. So maybe this video can drop 200 likes. That'd be pretty fucking sick the other two did great and i'm just hoping this one does just as good so i'm happy to help you guys out and i'm happy you guys are going to continue to watch this and be a part of this channel so yeah uh you all have a great night and i'll see you guys later